Hello guys, today we will, we will chat about a very important use case in Azure Data Factory which most of you uh, will uh, face in future if you have not already. Uh, you might have to um, copy data from multiple different sources and merge into a single destination and you don't want to use data flow or even data data breaks because those are the options through which you can do it easily however those are one costly ones so if you don't want to go with that for some or other constraint and you want to achieve it with uh, Azure data factory copy activity or using other uh, activities without data flow or data breaks we will see how we can do that though here we are using example our source as a excel sheet because we want to cover even that use case how you can query data from excel sheet what are the connectors available however this is applicable for all other sources also the same logic can be applied to different sources so let's see how you can achieve it so here is our pipeline um, i have got i've created uh, two or three three different copy activities to simulate this situation here our scenario is that we have data coming from two different sources we want to merge it to a single uh, uh, destination so if you query it directly from source to sync you have to do one to one copy but here we want to do it uh, we want to join all the data from two different sources right how you can do it so one one way is that you have to stage it somewhere in that lake and then you have to copy it so now our source is in the lake in the csv format two different uh, sorry two, two different xls format which we are going to read it so let's see uh, in the first copy activity we are we have configured our first data source which is again an excel sheet uh, if you want i want to quickly show you how we are an excel sheet link service you can create you go to lake select as you data lake 2 select excel sheet now i have my link service already created i will give my container Let's browse it. Okay. So here I have two different uh, places which I'm trying to simulate Excel as data and Excel as data one. So we will read data from both of them. Both of them are having Excel sheet. Employee Excel SX. Now one thing I want to uh, mention here is that my Excel sheet has two different uh, I, sheets so you can see here we have option to select it so my data is in employee so i'll select employee or you can make it even dynamic so you can uh, here you don't you are not seeing option add dynamic but once you create the data set there you will get it so this is how you can create your link service or the data set for excel sheet so i already have it created i have made file name and directory as dynamic so that i can pass it in this case my both the sources are having same file name so i have configured this file name here and you see the other one also the source is same here the directory is xls data one and then the previous one it was xls data so it, it shows that i have two different sources okay so your two different sources in your case can be that you are getting data from sql you are getting data from oracle two different places and you want to merge it to the single destination so here our sync if you look at the sync sync is a csv data set again in the lake here we, we have container and directory as a configure field and you important thing is file name here so file name what we are doing is at the time of copying to a lake as a staging we are giving two different names here it is one and the other place we are giving two so that if i have two files i'll get two different names in the sync so two files will be created one from one source and the other from other source Right. In the third one, third copy activity, now all the files which I have copied from my source as a staging place, that will become my source in this case. Okay. So this is where I'll read all my CSV which I have copied from my previous step and then I'll copy it over to my SQL table. So I'll quickly show you how my Excel sheet looks like. So this is one of the excel sheet where i have data one two three four employee number name and salary and employee 
employee to the other excel sheet which is in the different source second source here i have five six seven eight nine so our expectation is that once my two copy activity runs i will get a single csv file with both of both the data into that so i'll go ahead and i'll execute this and by the time it runs i'll just fast forward this video yeah so this is how our data will look like in the destination this is a lake this is a my staging area here i can see two different files created i let's go and see the data you see five six seven eight nine the other one will have one two three four now what i have done is i have aggregated uh, both the source data into one place now this will be copied over to my sql table so this is how my table will look like sql table i hope I, it has completed yeah now you can see all the nine record which i had copied from both the sources so this technique you can use for all different kinds of sources it's not restricted only to excel sheet it can be any source and this is how we are doing a staging and then we are copying it over so this will work in the union kind of scenarios thank you thanks for watching this and don't forget to subscribe